There, there seems to be a, a sort of rash of videos that have been edited to make the president appear officially frail or mentally confused. Um, I, I'm wondering if the, the White House is especially worried about the fact that this, this appears to be a, a, a pattern that we're seeing more from. Yeah, we, and I think you all have called this the cheap fakes video, and that's exactly what they are. They are cheap fakes video. Uh, they are done in bad faith, uh, and uh, and some of your news organization uh, have uh, have been very clear, have stressed that these right wing, uh, the right wing critics of the president have a credibility problem uh, because of the fact checkers have repeatedly caught them pushing misinformation, disinformation, uh, and so we see this, and this is something coming from from your your part of the world, calling them cheap fakes and misinformation. Uh, and uh, I'll quote the Washington Post, what they wrote, uh, they wrote about this, and they said how Republicans use misleading videos to attack Biden in a 24-hour period. And to their credit, we have a conservative Washington examiner uh, did call them out as well, calling out the New York Post. Uh, ironically, several, several recent chief fakes actually attacked the president for thanking troops for thanking troops, that is what they're attacking the president for. Both in Normandy, this happened, and again in Italy. And uh, I think that it tells you everything that we need to know about how, um, how desperate, how desperate Republicans are here. Uh, and uh, instead of talking about the president's performance in office, and what I mean by that is his legislative wins, what he's been able to do for the American people across the country, we're seeing these deep fakes. Uh, these manipulated videos, uh, and it is, again, done in bad faith. You sure about that? We're seeing these deep fakes, uh, these manipulated videos, uh, and it is, again, done in bad faith. Liar, liar, your paint's on fire. <laughs>